What is up guys, OC got here today with a tutorial on how to do screen pumps. This was requested or this was requested by a subscriber of mine, so uh, so let's go on with the tu tu with the tutorial. So just get your clip, you know. I'm just gonna get a triple collab that I made a couple of months ago. And um, get your gun sound. Yeah, yeah, just get a gun sound if you want to. It's your, it's your option. So just go to the sinking point. Right there, he shoots. So let's cut straight to that. I already have a song in the background and stuff, so we're good. Put that right there, where the marker is. Mark the oh yeah, mark the beat. If you if you hear any beats, just mark it. So, uh, let's, I don't know, let's just finish it on the next beat. Let's, uh, cut it on the next beat. Right there, I think that's fine enough. We'll add a, a marker. Over here, I hear another beat. Everything that I'm marking right now is for the screen pumps. So just mark every beat. There we go. So this is just the pan crop part. I'm not going to do the velocity sinking. So let's just do this. So basically, what I do with the pan crop is just zoom it in, tilt it, just like what I do with every other edits I do. Go back. I count five spaces back. There we go. Go like that. We add slow on this marker. First marker, fast. And then over here, we go. We go one space back. This is for the screen pumps right here, so pay attention. We go back one space on the marker. We click create keyframe. We go to slow. And then we go in front, and we go we go in front one keyframe and then we push the pan crop in a little bit like that and then later you put that onto fast and then you just go a couple you just go two keyframes in front you wait, just make sure that's that's uh like that All right so make sure that's four four arrows so just go down you like that go another two keyframes and like that and let's just pre-render this and take a look at it. <laughs> so let's just edit these other two keyframes. I'll probably skip this part if it's going to take too long. Or speed it up. Oh yeah, before, one thing that I forgot is this. We're supposed to make this linear. So once you got your two uh, keyframes done after the... I don't know how to sort of explain this, but just make them linear. The ones that move around, the ones that shake around. The, the pan crop that shakes around. Make sure you make them linear. So let's just do this one more time in the beginning of the clip. So we just go two spaces in front. Just in case you didn't understand that last part that I explained, you put it on the side like this, the pan crop. You put it at the bottom left corner. Then you go two spaces uh, more. You put this at the top, the top left corner. Then you go two more spaces and you put this at the top right corner. So, yeah, there we go. You uncheck this, you press control, and you uncheck the first one. And then you, then you right click and you press linear on these keyframes. And let's just pre-render this and take a look at it. So, just about to see. It. I 
I think that it's it's probably not the best pan crop, but you guys can sort of make it your own and just make it look well. So uh, what I always add on my screen pumps is levels. Well, I add levels for everything, so it's just a really good effect. So let's just just go to your uh, to your marker, go one space behind, and add a marker, and then go around 500 is good enough. And then we go 13 spaces in front. Well, in this case, it doesn't reach a 13, but let's just go to the next marker. The next marker, we go behind, and we put this way down to to z to uh, to zero. So next keyframe, we put it to 500, and then we go to the next marker. We put this down to a thousand. Go to the key. Uh, go to the next keyframe, and we put this at 500. And then we just go to the end, and we put this at a thousand. So let's just see the result of this. Well, there you go. That is the screen pump tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. See ya.